It might not look exactly like what we want. Or it could look exactly like what we want. Uh, I want to spend a bit of time now back on... Yeah, screw it. I think we do dungeon stuff now. So, we're going to do swinging. Pretty straightforward. We've got an anchor point. We've got a tiled sprite. We have the tether point. Um, and that's it. That's Those are the three things. Now, what I'd like to do is have a scenario where we can change the length of these tether points. Like the different vines should have different tether points. It's important, I guess it is important to think about, like if you grab here, what happens? But I don't think I'm gonna design it to let you do that. So I think you'll just grab on to the, to the thing. Mm, not quite physics, it's gonna be pretty canned. The animation's gonna be pretty canned. So the only thing I need to think about is how do I, I mean, I can do angles, right? I can take a distance from a point along a vector. I can rotate that vector. The goal will be basically that you just jump at it. And if you, from the way it's designed, as long as you touch it, it's gonna be swinging. It's not like you have to like build up momentum. It'll just go. <clears throat> you just have to jump at it. Kind of more like, what's that game? Pitfall? <laughs> like Pitfall. And if you let go anywhere along here, you're just gonna hurl forward. No, I'm not using hinge physics. I'm not using physics. See, this is not, this is like, yeah, not really what I want at all. This is like rope physics. I wanna avoid that. I want this to be like, like Donkey Kong Country. Everything is way more specific. Penpole, did you literally just say that? I don't even think I've played this, this level in Donkey Kong Country. See how it's like, the ropes just do the thing that they do. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> I can't believe you just gave that example. So we're gonna have vine and the vine, vine has a new script. The vine manages uh, all of the points, I suppose. So the point of this script is to take the sprite of a point uh, and then find the next point make the size of the sprite the distance between us and then rotate to face so you're just drawing you're just facing the transforms of each point at the next point in the chain and then stretching the sprite until it hits it that's really straightforward. So that's drawing a vine. Yay, vines. Pretty cool. So is there a reason I would want multiple connections like that? Like we could do a material physics simulation thing here. We could do it. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I said I wouldn't. I think I won't. <laughs> At that point, the question becomes, what is the easiest way to cheat it? If I'm not going to do the physics myself, you know, you kind of want to do something that's like this, right? Where you're here and it's like this. As you go forward, there's kind of like a little bit of a give like it should sort of bend like this. So the logic of what's happening here, we just need to capture that. It's not gonna be perfect because things don't really bend like this. What we could just do is just have everything be a multiple of the previous. So really the bottom thing is just moving on like a big circle like this. And then every point from here back, it's just moving some distance that's a factor of the original one. No, I'm not going to calculate each pixel, just a few points. The first thing we want to do is take all of these away so that we just have two points, two points like this. We're going to make that work first. Okay. So we're going to say
Uh, there we go. Why not use a spring joint? Because I don't, I don't want physics. I'm trying to avoid physics in this instance. Like it's not, it's not a physics-based game in that way. Yeah, could use an animation curve. Okay, so now this is going to be a loop. I think if I just offset these, if I just do them exactly as they were, but offset them, I think it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, that's actually totally right. It's so close. It's just that the length uh, needs to be stepped. That's awesome. Did you see that? If you just project those points upwards instead of being following directly, that's beautiful. It might not look exactly like what we want. Or it could look exactly like what we want. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. <laughs> you don't need springs. I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed with this. Just, just so you guys know. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can put it out of phase. <laughs> it didn't take very long. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. That's what we wanted. So I, I actually guessed it like almost perfectly. As soon as the player touches it, it takes on a life of its own. As soon as the player touches it, we go. And then when the player lets go, it like that. Oh, that's what I would do. I would increase the speed and decrease the angle until we hit zero. That's good. La perfezione. Yeah, we increase the speed. So it's like increasing, increasing, angles decreasing, decreasing until we hit zero. I think if I do that right, if you watch, if I lerp that, I bet you I can animate it on a curve and it'll look really good. It'll just go shook, 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 shook. That's great. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey pal, thanks for watching. And thanks most especially to the patrons and Twitch subs who support this channel and my game dev project Insignia. To find out more, click the links in the description below. And uh, if you like this video, tell YouTube by clicking the like button and then YouTube will tell me and then I'll make more videos. That's nice. Thanks again, and uh, until next time.